Hi friends. Uh, so continuing on from the previous tutorial, uh, in this tutorial what I will do is that I will create a simple script. Uh, by the way, I've already created it. <laughs> I will just demonstrate it. And explain each what each line does and what each line means. Uh, so this script, what it will do is that it will take uh, interactively the input from the user. And it will also take the password from the user interactively. And once it does that, what it will do is that uh, it will print the hash of it on your screen. So what I did in the previous tutorial was that if you haven't watched it, I explained this uh, in more detail. So in this one, I will be just going quickly over it because I've already explained it once. Now in this uh, tutorial, what I have added is this functionality. So in the previous tutorial, what you had to do was that you had to uh, type in the uh, string and the password in the text in this Python script. And what you had to do was that uh, you had also, uh, you had to make sure that uh, the key is uh, either 16, 24 or 32 by long and the uh, string that has uh, to be encrypted is um, uh, is in multiples of uh, 16 bytes. So in this one, I have uh, created these two functions, which will make sure that things are okay. Now in here, the first line, what I am doing is that I'm saying uh, import AES function from this crypto module. And then I'm creating this padded key function. And this padded key function, what it does is that it takes as its input this key. So whatever you type in, it will, it will take it as an input. And I'm saying that while linked, of key so whatever the user type modulus 8 is not equal to 0 so if you don't know what modulus means it's the remainder so if you divide for example let's say 9 by 2 what you will get is 1 because 2 times 4 is 8 however we are dividing 9 by 2 so 1 is the remainder so what this does is that it checks the remainder of it uh, and then we are saying that if the key is not uh, if the remainder is greater than 0 or if it's not 0 what you do is that you add a space to it. So let me just uh, quickly show this to you. Um, or maybe, yeah, let's do it in this one here. Interactive shield, this will be good. So in here I'm saying that 9 divided by 2, uh, that is 4.5. 9, nine however, divided uh, modulus 2, how uh, you can see that, um, it is 1. Why is it? Because 4 times 2 is 8. Uh, and 9, it's, well, there is one remainder, one you get one is extra, can divide it evenly without using this fraction points or floating points. So if we do something like 10 divided by, uh, let's say 3 this time, you also get 1. Or if you do something like 13 divided by 2, you also get 1. 13 divided by 8 this time you get 5. Why? Because 1 times 8 is 8, 2 times is 16. So it's 1 plus 5. So 5 is the remainder. So this is what I'm doing. So in here what I'm doing is that I'm saying modulus or modulo 8. What that means is that check it, uh, whatever the user types it, uh, check its remainder. If the remainder is not equal to 0, what you do is that you add a space. So for example, in here you have typed in a character which is a password that is 13 characters long. So what it does is that uh, in here if you type something like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, so this is 9 and then 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is uh, 13 characters. So what uh, if you do is that 13 modulus 8 is 5. So what it does is that it adds a space to it. This time it becomes 14 instead of 13. So if we do this, 14, the modulus 8, you can see that um, 14 modulus 8, it becomes 6. And what it does is that it's not equal to zero. So if it's not equal to zero, it will increase it by five. So now you can see that it is seven. However, it's still not equal to zero. So what it will do is that it will add another space to it. And this time when it adds space, it becomes 16. So what it does now, you can see that the uh, remainder becomes zero. So, uh, so in here I'm saying that as long as the remainder is not equal to zero, keep adding spaces. So make sure that it is in multiples of eight. So this is what this function does. And then at last I'm saying return key. This is the same thing. Instead of a key, it is taking text. So it's the same. Instead, I'm checking uh, checking it by 16 or uh, checking the remainder of it by 16. Why? Because this text, what it does is that it uh, for AES, the key has to be in multiples of eight and it has to be between, for this one, 
Uh, so why am I doing it is for this key it has to be in multiples of 8 and it has to be either 16, 24 or 32. So AES accepts uh, input in 3 uh, lengths. It has to be either 16 bytes, 24 bytes or 32 bytes. So in here let me type key has to be either 16, 24 or 32 bytes. So that's why I'm doing it, dividing it by it. Now, however, the text, so text has to be in multiples of 16 bytes. So for AES, the text has to be in multiples of 16. That's why I'm uh, dividing it by 16 and checking that its remainder. So it's the same. If it's not, uh, its module, its remainder is not equal to zero, it will keep on adding until it becomes zero. So if it does, it will return the text. So this variable, what it does is that it um, uh, asks the user to enter in the password to be encrypted so it saves it in this variable and in here I'm creating another variable called plain and I'm running this uh, plain text which the user entered this in here and I'm running to the padded text uh, function this one so it, this is what uh, this is the this function will add in spaces at the end of the user input to make sure that it is in multiples of 16 in here so this is the same it asks the user for the Password, however, the password has to be either 16 or 24 or 32 bytes. So that's why I'm saying enter in a key between 16 and 32 characters. So if the key is between 16 and 32 characters, that is good. What you do is that you put again, use this key input and put it in this function. Run it through this function. Make sure that it is in multiples of that. And in here, I'm creating an if function to make sure that it's okay. What I'm doing is that I'm saying the key input which the user types if it is less than or equal to 18 or if it is greater than or equal to 32. So if it is, sorry, I shouldn't be using this less than, I think. Sorry, not equal to. So if I'm saying that if the uh, length of input, I'm saying that if it is less than 16 or it is greater than 32. So if it is 7 or it's 35, if you print out this key must be between 16 and 32 characters. So make sure that uh, it is uh, it is between that 16 and 32 however this function will take care of it even if it's not between 16 and 32 so if it's like 10 12 it will make uh, this 8 will make sure that things are going to be fine so in here i'm doing is that uh, creating this variable called cipher and i'm using the es function which we imported from here and i am using this new function of it i'm saying that create a new cipher using the key so what is the key this one the, which the user inputs and if it needs padding, we pad it, and then we are putting it, uh, we are running it through this function es, and this is how we will get our cipher. So in here, I'm getting creating another variable called cipher text, and what that does is that it uses this cipher, which we created in here, and you are saying encrypt it. So what you are saying is that encrypt this plain text, this plain which the user types. You are saying use this and encrypt it using the cipher that we created in here. And at the end, we are saying print the cyber text. So let's delete this. We don't need it. And let's save it. And this time, maybe the CD desktop. And let me run this Python 3 aes.py. So you can see that it says entering the text to be encrypted. I'm typing as like something like, hello, buddy. How are you? Long time. No see. And then it says that enter a key, which must be between 16 and 32 characters. So I'm typing in something like, this is a long a string. So how, how many it is? 4, 6, 7, 11, 11 plus 6, 17. So it's good. If you press enter, you can see that this, how from here to, from here, to in here, this is the encrypted text and bytes that we get. However, how do you decrypt it? Uh, so what you do is that let's create another variable called uh, and call it uh, clear text. This time you are saying that cipher dot decrypt, and then we are typing in the cipher text, and we are saying plain clear text. So in here I'm creating this variable called clear text. I'm saying take this cipher which we created in here and then decrypt it. Decrypt what? Decrypt the cipher text. So previously we encrypted the plain text, whatever the user had put in. This time you're saying decrypt the cipher text, which is this one, this highlighted text. 
and then we are saying print it so let's save this and run it so entering the text to be encrypted so I'm tapping like whatever this is good and entering the password so this time on two three one two three one two three nine eight seven nine eight seven nine eight seven so this is like 18 bytes that is good so what it does is that it encrypts it so this is the encrypted text and then what it does is that it again decrypts what we did so you can see that this is what we typed now in here you can see that uh, this port notice this is the spaces so this is the spaces that gets added because it's not in multiples of 16 the uh, clear text so in here if you see something like uh, 4 5 6 7 8 8 plus 5 is 13 14 14 plus 4 is 18 19 20 21 22 22 plus uh, 4 is 26 so 32 minus 26 is 6 more there should, there should be 6 spaces 1 2 3 4 5 6 so you can see that it adds 6 exact 6 spaces to make sure that it is in multiples of 32 so sorry to that make sure it's in multiples of 16 so this is it for this tutorial guys if you have any questions suggestions or recommendations or if you have any particular to uh, topic that you want me if you have any particular topic that you don't understand and you want me to cover feel free to put it in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next one